so uh good morning oh dear okay so it's autumn it's definitely autumn it's a bit colder but it's a nice warm day today uh and uh i thought i'd just get out and have a little ride and uh, a few country lanes and things and just see what's going on really i'm not going to go anywhere planned just go for a ride go wherever it takes me oh now i haven't stretched <laughs> Oh dear. Nice. So today what I'm doing is I thought I'd go down and have a quick look at this particular motorcycle that I like. I wanted to see it in the flesh. Uh, which is the Royal Enfield Scram 411. So I'm just going to go and have a look. I'm not saying I'm going to trade my Triumph in and get one. Just not. Just, you know, just no. So a little shout out to all those people. I hope they're okay that are putting up with Hurricane Ian right now terrible terrible hurricane out there um, so my thoughts are with you guys and I hope you know Stacia and Jeff I hope you're all well and you're doing okay those are a couple that we met out in Mexico lovely people and uh, there was talk of them actually doing a travel uh, vlog although I haven't seen anything yet get on with it Okay, so that's answered that question. I don't like it. <laughs> it's uh, same height as this seat height, uh, but it's just the quality of it. It's just, you know, but it is a cheaper bike after all. But the answer is no, thank you. No, thank you. But yeah, it's quite interesting, isn't it? This goes down to, I think, to uh, Beekspawn. No, not Beekspawn. Yeah, on the way to Beekspawn. Not that you'd know where that is, but I do. <laughs> I know, that's a nice cottage. Hmm. So down here somewhere, on the left, is a Ford. A Ford, I hear you say. Yes, a Ford. It's, uh, you know, little river stream running through it. And that's what makes up a Ford. And we're going to go through it. There we go. Oh, okay then. So, obviously, it's been so dry that there's no water running through the Ford today. It's bone dry, still. With all the rain we've had, there's still no water through there. Now this is what I mean about a small country lane, look at it. <laughs> Proper rough. 
and if I a bit of car coming up here I have to bury it in the hedge a little bit which is where this bike's really good oh dog walkers lovely These are the roads I love. Nice. Wow, rough old lane. I'm going to go up here, yes. Yeah, lovely. Oh, bumpy, bumpy. <laughs> what a lovely day. I'm talking too much crap today. Squirrel. Okay, and another one. Okay. Oh dear, I hate squirrels. I used to have this dog, right, Springer Spaniel, she was brilliant, uh, but you'd say squirrel and she would go berserk, I mean seriously, she knew that squirrels were the enemy, you know, she would go ballistic, so if you were in the car, and this was back in the day where you didn't need to have a dog cage or harness to secure it in the car, my dog used to sit with me on the front seat, this Springer Spaniel, and uh, hello, where the hell am I? <laughs> Let's have a look on that thing. And um, oh, dual carriageway. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well, looks like I'm going on it. And um, okay. speed so anyhow what was I saying yes my Springer Spaniel she was sitting on the front seat and uh, she would go ballistic if she saw a squirrel you know you didn't even need to say the word and she would climb up around the dashboard you know all over my head you know to get sight of this squirrel she was oh my god she was a nightmare Hence why you should always keep your dog on a harness in your car or in a, you know, confined space in a cage, kettle cage thing. Now, where am I? I have no idea. What is it saying on this? Am I, where am I going? I have no idea of that either. It's an arrow, it's pointing that way. Kingston, blah de blah, Barham. Ooh. Okay, I seem to be going somewhere else. <laughs> I think I'll get off here. I don't want the channel tunnel. I think I'll get off here. Aim for Wingham. Yes, let's aim for Wingham. Don't want to do the channel tunnel. Uh, that'll just take me to somewhere, you know, like France. Uh, don't particularly want to do that. Not today. Got to feed the next door neighbours' cats. Dun dun dun! It's not as warm as it was earlier. Feeling a bit chilly now. Well, there's a really fast one, isn't it? As if I'm not going fast enough. I hope I don't meet him splatted on the road somewhere up ahead. There you go. You miss everything if you go too fast. But then you see they ride for the speed, for the adrenaline, you know. 
don't particularly want to go to Alsham. Don't like Alsham. I'm going to go down Snakes Hill. Oh, nice turn, Tim. There we go. Nice. Be nice to see some buzzards, wouldn't it, or something? A bit of wildlife. I do love these country lanes. Do you know what? These country lanes could be anywhere in the country. I would enjoy riding down, down them. Just love them. Lovely country homes and look at that. Beautiful. So keen on the colour, but <laughs> they're nice. Yeah, that's the thing, the petrol's getting too yeah, new. 1955 with a 1949 engine. That's awesome. Wow. It's got such a low mileage. <laughs> since March. Have you done that since March? Yeah. Right. That's my third back tyre. Bloody hell. <laughs> Very nice. Keep laning. Well, that was nice, chatting to that gentleman, Dean. A 1955 aerial that he's put back together. Although well, the engine's 1945. Not going down there today. But he's got knowledge of how to put bikes together and all that sort of thing. Me, oof, no thanks. Give me something super reliable and new. He's a proper biker, he is. But, uh, yeah, I shall look him up on YouTube. He's got a couple of videos out there somewhere. Sun's come back out in the meantime. Been a lot of people out on their bikes today. All enjoying this last bit of weather. I've had a good day so far. I had a nice walk with the dog. Oh gosh, I've got to update you on the dog, haven't I? Oh little Hugo is doing remarkably well thank you he's had all his stitches out because he had that second operation which was pretty gory uh, he had the stitches out just a few days ago and it's all knitted together really well 
Um, so he's not cancer free, but he's got those cancerous lumps taken off. And it has taken up to now, it's now 21 weeks from start to finish um, of um, him having, having those two operations now. And um, yes, he's going to end up with a lot of scarring, but I'd rather have my dog with scarring and a leg that's functioning, or a leg that works, and give him a few more years of life, hopefully, than take his whole leg off or shorten his life and having him put down. So yes, so if you do enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe. It's really important that you do so because it gets my numbers up. The videos aren't for everybody, you know, um, but uh, I enjoy making them. My dad enjoys watching them sometimes when he can stay awake for them. Pull your trousers up, boy. Honestly, honestly, what is the world coming to? So bye-bye, take care, see you later.